Hello and welcome to my e-lesson. I am your guru and in this video I am going to teach you advanced pivot table tricks. Alright? Now, we all know how to create a pivot table and what all it could do. If you have not seen my earlier videos on how to create a pivot table for beginners, then you can of course watch that video also. It's in the description. And now let's go into our data. Let's start. So we have this huge data, okay? of around 4,693 companies, all right? It's a huge data we have. Here we have the dates starting from 2017 and then we have the customer name, company one, company two, and then description of the products. Okay, we have N number of products. Then we have quantity over here, price and sale amount, okay? And now what we want to go ahead and do is we want to create a pivot table which I'm going to do now. So I'll click in this data, go to insert, click on pivot table and I'll choose new worksheet, click OK and my pivot table is almost there. All I need to do is put in whatever I want. So for example, I want to find the customer names and the products sale quantity okay so company one total sale amount is this much for company 10 the total sale amount is this much all right now i can also get the dates so this is where it is going to look interesting all right now if you see my data is showing the years quarters and months why because I have enabled the grouping feature like if I right click over here on the date all right and I click on ungroup then this is how you would usually see data in your pivot tables but with the advanced trick that I'm going to tell you this kind of data is converted into an amazingly powerful analyzable tool all you have to do is right click on the date all right and click on group and now you get this option you can group it by seconds minutes hours days months quarters and years so i'm going to do it on years and months click ok so now i have this sales for the year 2017 sales for the year 2018 and then i can do a breakdown month wise so this is called grouping. You can do a right click and ungroup it and it will go back to the normal one. You can do a right click here, go to group, select the group that you want. I don't want the months also and I want the years and the days. Now I get this. See, you get day wise also. So this is one advanced feature. All right. Let's go to the next advanced feature. So we'll create another pivot table. Shortcut is Alt and V. Enter, the pivot table is there. Now, for example, I want the description of the product. So now we have the product and the quantity now. So now I want to find out what is the percentage of sales of product one, product 10, because right now we see the sum of quantity, correct? Now I want to see the percentage. How can we do that? We're very simple. You do a right click. All right. You go to show values as and now you have this option percentage of grand total, percentage of grand total, percentage of column total, row total and n number of options over here. So I'll do percentage of grand total. Automatically, my data is now shown as percentages. So out of the total sales, 17% sales were for product 1, 16% sales were for product number 2. Isn't this easy and even more convenient to check? So that's another trick we learned. Now let me show you one more trick. We'll go back to the data. We'll create another pivot table. And now say you want to do a custom calculation. All right. So we will again take customer name over here or say product names. All right. 
and their quantity and then I believe this should be enough. So now I want to find out how many of these items were returned. All right. So we have uh, idea that around 2% of each item is returned. All right. So now what we can do is we can do a calculation here itself. How you click anywhere in this data and then you go to analyze and over there you go to fields, items and sets. All right. And click on calculated field. Okay. Give it a name. Return. And now it has to have a formula. So is equal to is already typed in. What I need to do is I need to find out what has to be done. Okay. So quantity insert field into 2%. Click OK. And there it is. Now this is also available for you in the pivot table fields. You can use it in your pivot table as you seem fit. If you want it in the filters, in the description, in the column, in the values, wherever you want. Amazing, right? Now let me show you another trick. Let's go to design and give it a design. Now this is not the trick I'm talking about. This is just very, very simple. So this is the one. Okay. This looks good. Now what we can do is we can actually go ahead and do conditional formatting. I'll select this. Go to conditional formatting. Go to data bars and now whatever kind of conditional formatting you want to put in, it can be put in there. See this? You can have this highlight cell rules, top bottom rules. I have created a very, very good video on a detailed video on conditional formatting. You will have to say whether it's good or not. <laughs> so you can use that to learn conditional formatting. See? Well, these are the advanced pivot table tricks. And if you like this video, do click on like and do subscribe to the channel so that whenever there are new videos, you get to know about them and do share it with your friends. Until the next video then, this is your Guru now signing off for the day. Have a wonderful day ahead. Happy learning.